I work from home full time as an online coach and course creator, and I thought it would be really cool to give you a little tour of my home office and share some of my favorite tools and pieces of equipment, as well as just kind of show you around and let you see how I make my home office space a super inspiring and fun place to hang out. My name is Jordan Maley, and I give ambitious entrepreneurs the blueprint to start, grow, and automate your online business so you can build a profitable social media presence that works for you 24 seven and you don't have to. If you're new here, be sure and hit that subscribe button. I put out great new videos just like this one on this channel every single week, and I don't want you to miss the next free training I release. I've been working from home since 2005, and my first home office space was a corner in my childhood bedroom. So you certainly don't need to be working from your dream office in order to build your dream business. However, as my business has grown over the years, my office has gotten a little nicer and a little nicer, and I honestly have to say what I have right now is my dream office space. And I'm super excited to just show you around, let you see some of the stuff that I have hanging out in here as well as share some of my favorite tools and the different pieces of equipment that I use to power my business on a daily basis. All the tools and pieces of equipment that I mentioned, I will be sure to link for you below. So feel free to check them out down in the description and let's take a look around. So when you walk in the door, the first thing you see is the back of my desk and this gorgeous wall full of books. I love to read. I've always wanted a floor to ceiling bookshelf and I love that I now have one in my office. My husband and I bought this house as a fixer upper. Actually, here's what it looked like when we moved in. I wish I could take credit for these gorgeous bookshelves, but uh, we definitely transformed the room and getting to keep the bookshelves was an added bonus. So one of the things that I love that I actually read about in a book a few years ago was the idea of surrounding yourself with things that have a lot of meaning to you, even if they might not have a lot of meaning to anyone else. So all the little knickknacks that you'll find on my bookshelf are all things that really mean a lot to me for various reasons. Um, this is a picture of my Nana and I on our trip to New York. This is a picture of my best friend and I at a horse show. My siblings and I on the first hike that we took as siblings and uh, yeah I just like to fill my bookshelves with super inspiring cool things. Over on this wall is kind of my main focus wall. It's the wall I can see from my desk and again I just filled it with things that are meaningful to me and make me smile when I look at them. So on the top shelf are some of my favorite books. If you haven't read any of these I highly recommend them. They're all absolutely incredible. I will link them below for you if you want to check any of them out. And then this middle shelf, I find it inspiring. It's kind of a shrine to my favorite animals that I've had over the years. This right here is a statue of Kenny. He is the trachaner gelding that I showed and got my bronze medal on, got the bronze medal there. And this piece of pottery sculpture was actually made after he passed away and all the little black lines that you see in there are pieces of his tail that were woven into the pottery. This here is April. She was my original business partner. That's me and her together on the day that my husband and I got married. And this little box is actually her urn. I literally spent the first 14 years of my business life saying, hey, let's go to work to her every single morning. She would run in here so excited to go to work, obviously not here that whole time, but run into the office. And it was really hard for me when she passed away in 2021. So I put this up here as a little reminder that she's always here with me working in the office. Uh, down here, again, just a few little knickknacks. My husband gave me this little candle. It was actually the first gift he ever gave me when we'd been dating for about a week and just some cute uh, photos and things like that. Over here on the window seat, oh my gosh, I wish I could tell you that I just spend all my days sitting here and reading, but I actually call this my dog's Zen lounge. I got these dog beds from Ikea, all these pillows, and if I'm not recording a video, uh, at least one, if not all three of my dogs can pretty much be found hanging out in this window most of the day. 
I've got these awesome little shelves here. This is a painting that my sister had made and gave my husband and I for Christmas. Again, incredible book. You should definitely read it if you haven't. And then over here, I've got uh, my wedding bouquet and just some more greenery as well. So uh, if you have seen some of my other videos on this channel, then you've seen this gold chair. This is where I sit and record most of my YouTube videos. And over here on this side of the shelf, again, just some more things that uh, are meaningful to me and make me smile. I've got a signed helmet from a former Texas Tech football coach and a brick with the double T on it. My dad actually installed the street that these bricks were put in and he got me an extra one to remember. And then up here, this is a painting that my best friend had made of my three-year-old Vinny when he was a baby. And here's a picture of Vinny touching noses with Ken. My aunt actually had this made for me. This was the first time that I got to meet Vinny when we went to purchase him and after Kenny had passed away. So she overlaid these pictures, which I thought was really neat. I love this photo of me and my mom and Amy Porterfield. This is when we got to fly out to California and her team interviewed us about our success using her webinar system and just other little knickknacks and things that make me smile. And of course, I gotta love the color coordinated bookshelves. Definitely make me happy. This is my uh, space heater slash fireplace. I love this in the mornings. Almost year round, I will turn this thing on in the mornings. I hate being cold. So turning this on in the morning to heat up the room, even in the summer, uh, which I know makes me a bit of a weirdo. Uh, I absolutely love it. I love this sign. I think it's just kind of a good motto to have in life in general. Be happy, it drives people crazy, that is so true. And then again, on this wall, I've just filled it with things that make me smile and bring back good memories. So my husband, Chris, had this made of April. Um, he gave this to me our first Christmas that we were together. And then just some great photos of family stuff. Here's a picture of Ken and I when we won our bronze medal and me and my mayor Penny at our first show. So let's get into the fun business stuff. This is my desk setup, okay? So I've got the three monitors. The two on the side are Dell monitors that can be put um, either vertical or horizontal. And then in the middle, I've got my iMac. I am a huge fan of Apple products. They are my absolute favorite. I have the Apple iMac, uh, the MacBook laptop, as well as the iPhone and the iWatch. Everything syncs together. I use it across all of my devices, all my files, everything for work. Makes it really easy to work either from home or really from anywhere else that I want because everything syncs together and really just is organized and streamlined really, really well. This right here, one of my favorite tools, I think it was like $10 on Amazon. It's a selfie stick and it can get tall or short. It's got little legs on it or you can hold it in your hand. Really good. I record almost all of my short video content like TikToks and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts using that tripod. Another thing I added recently to my office supplies are the Apple AirPod Max headphones. I use these every single day, um, either at my desk when I'm listening to music or often I will use them when I'm working out and listening to podcasts or watching YouTube videos for professional development. One thing I never walk into my office without is my full focus planner from Michael Hyatt. It's really funny, my mom has been a big, big follower of Michael and his full focus planner for years. She tried for years to get me on the bandwagon and I would try it and it would last a few weeks and then I'd fall out of the habit and I always ended up going back to something else. But last year it finally stuck. I don't know what I was thinking or how I functioned as long as I did without the full focus planner in my life but I absolutely love it and I use it every single day in my business and in my personal life to keep everything organized and on track, work within my time blocks and make sure that I am productive as possible. A lot of people ask me what type of video equipment I use to film my YouTube videos. I'm gonna show you my advanced setup here in just a second, but anytime I'm filming something from my desk, I love to use this Logitech 
webcam. I'm gonna show you right here. And it actually just perches like right on top of my screen. And I absolutely love it. It's great for live videos and any kind of zooms or anything like that that I do. And then for good sound, I love to use my Blue Yeti microphone. It uh, has a USB plug, so you can plug it into any computer. Absolutely love it. I use it for all of my Facebook Lives, all of my Zoom calls, and um, when recording YouTube episodes as well. I do have a ring light, uh, and I will link it for you in the description. But honestly, my favorite way to get good lighting for videos is exactly where I'm sitting right now, facing my window. Natural light is the best light for videos. And so anytime that I can just face my window and record, that's what I do. And in case you're wondering, I am recording this video today on my iPhone. My desk is from Ikea and I absolutely love it because it's very versatile. These two drawers move around. You can put them on either end of the desk. And so you can really put the desk in a lot of different configurations based on where you want it in the room. And then I wanted to point out too, this uh, core values chart. A few years ago, I was in a life coaching program and they had us go through this really cool exercise where we came up with our values. And ever since then, I've kept that on my wall. I think it's really important as a business owner to never forget why you're doing what you're doing. In the busyness of life and business and all the things that you can say yes to and say no to, Sometimes we end up saying yes to things that don't serve us. So for me, having this as a reminder next to my desk, always make sure that I am keeping my priorities in line. I also get a ton of questions about this. Uh, again, this is something my husband gave me. He's such a good gift giver, let me tell you. Uh, I told you already, I hate being cold. So it's a little desktop fire pit and you pour alcohol in it and then just lights up and once the alcohol is out the fire goes out so again super cool way to warm up the office in the mornings if it's just a little chilly in here uh, I absolutely love it and I think it adds some really cool ambiance to the space last but not least I want to show you my YouTube filming setup because I get so many questions about this I have filmed my videos in multiple different rooms in my house trying to find the best space and I really think this little corner of my office with my yellow chair and the bookshelf in the background is my favorite that I found so far. So when I'm filming, literally all I have to set up are these two things. Uh, I've got my ring light that lives behind my desk typically, so I just scoot it over. And then this right here is a, a teleprompter that I got on Amazon. I will link it below for you. And then also a tripod and my husband's DSLR camera. Now, I love filming on his DSLR. However, if he didn't already have one, he's a photographer, then I uh, definitely would not be filming with a DSLR. I would probably just be filming directly from my iPhone. So if you're wanting to get started on YouTube or really any kind of content creation, I really can't stress enough how you cannot go wrong with an iPhone and a window and really you're just good to go. The content creating equipment has gotten so good these days. Phones take incredible photos, incredible videos. You really don't need to invest in anything fancier unless you just want to. I do love my teleprompter for recording YouTube videos just because it keeps me on script, keeps me from rambling. Uh, but the cool thing is if you are using your iPhone to record, all you need is the free teleprompter app from the app store and you're good to go. You can use your phone and it will display the words from the teleprompter directly on your screen while you're looking at the camera and reading the words as they come across. It works really, really well. When I think back to how I've been able to go from the high school kid that was building a business in the corner of her bedroom to having a business that's done over seven figures in sales, we've served clients in over 17 countries around the world, getting to come in here in my dream office space and work from home every single day. Obviously, there's a lot of pieces that go into that and go into what made that possible. But it all started with knowing and having a really clear handle on who I help and how I help them as it relates to what I want to sell. And I call that knowing your profitable niche. And if you are a longtime viewer of this channel, then you're probably tired of me mentioning that by now because I talk about it all the time, but it's because it's that important. You've got to know your niche. 
You can't even get off the starting line in your business if you don't have clarity around who you help and how you help them. If you don't know that, it's impossible to create content, it's impossible to create offers, it's impossible to communicate with your potential leads and customers. You really gotta start there and you gotta get clear on it. And that's why I put together my unique profitable niche framework to help you get that clarity so you can get off the starting line and really start getting some traction in your business. I put this guide together for you absolutely free. It's the exact same process that I lead my students through inside my signature program, Laptop Lifestyle Academy. And you can grab it now at globalfreedomcommunity.com forward slash niche. All right, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my office today. I hope you enjoyed this a uh, little more casual video style. It was kind of fun for me. Kind of felt like I was a vlogger a little bit, which I'm definitely not, uh, but I enjoyed it for today and I hope you did too. I'm gonna link all the equipment, all the tools, everything I mentioned in the description below. And if you have any questions about anything that I don't mention, don't hesitate to drop me a comment. I'm always happy to share uh, where I found something or what I'm using or how I might do something differently. So if you have any questions about the home office tour, Hit me with them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. I have asked YouTube to recommend the best next video for you, which you can watch right here. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go so you'll be notified the next time we release a new video on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.